Hi and um, welcome to the video. This is purely just to show you how you can automate uh, sheet creations in Ribbit through Dynamo and then how to kind of set up a Dynamo player just to make it less intimidating for other users to use the script. So what I have here is just a very blank Ribbit project. As you can see, I just have a schedule view. I've made some shared parameters. Uh, that's just because I want to pass some, some custom information into Ribbit. So the first thing you need to do is have an Excel file and you need to have sheet name, sheet number. That is a must for creating sheets inside of, inside of Dynamo. Um, and then here you can see my shared parameters and these are just the built-in in Revit. So you can make as many as you want and just map it and so on. So here's the basic setup. I'll just close this up and open up Dynamo. Ah, oh, it's under the Manage tab. So once Dynamo is open, you just go navigate to your Dynamo script file. Something to remember is Dynamo's will read a file from Excel and row one will be zero. It's just how it works in terms of some programming languages, it always starts at zero as one. So what I have over here is importing the Excel file and it's going and getting the sheet name that is case sensitive of the Excel. That's quite important, but you well, need to be exact. And then moving forward, so now it's got all that information. So what I've gone and done to get the parameter values, that would be the number and the name, not necessarily the field's name. So I've gone and removed the item index at zero. And the reason why I do that is just so that it strips away those headings like sheet number, sheet name, approved by. And then it goes into this field over here. So this is creating a sheet in Rivet and it needs the number and the name, as I was saying earlier, and the title block and a view. So here's my title block I've just selected in here. And a view, use a schedule view because it doesn't place it on sheets, which is um, very handy in this type of thing, this type of script. So once it's got that, now it's made the sheets, I need to go populate that other information. So from that data now, from the Excel again, I've gone and get gotten the items at an index of zero. So that would be all the headers. That would be the name, the number, the checked by values. So that would be the parameter names. And for to set those parameters, now I'm grabbing those sheets and I'm actually passing in that parameter name into its parameter name with the element and then the value. So two and two would be the same where this would be the parameter name, that would be the parameters values. So I've done that with all those other ones that you saw in the Excel. And at the top here, I've just got another shared parameter called package number and name, and that's for browser organization. You'll see that in a little bit. Uh, something else I'm gonna show is the Dynamo player. So to set up a Dynamo player, all you need to do really is select the inputs that you'd want the user to do. So for instance, I want the user to select their own title block. So I select on this on this code block over here and I just right click and I go, is it input? And I've done it for the schedule view because I want them to select their own view. And I've done it for Excel file the browser and the sheet name. So once that's done, I can just run this. We'll go and open up the Excel as you can see there. And it shouldn't take too long, can vary. Generally, it really shouldn't take that long, maybe, maybe 10 seconds of that. I think it's done, run complete. So there we go, you can see it's made. I'll just go and close this up. So there you can see all my sheets have been created. And there they are. So now to show you the Dynamo player, let me just go and delete this. And I'll open up the Dynamo player, which would be under the Manage tab next to Dynamo. Once the player is open, you navigate to the folder where your scripts are, and you see so here I have my sheet creation. Now instead of clicking play because I want to edit this before I run it, I would just go under edit inputs. So under editing the input, it will just go and read that Dynamo file. Let's go get all these inputs. So here you can see selecting an Excel file, entering the sheet name, and the schedule view and the title block to use. And once you've set that up, you can go and choose. I think it's, there we go. It's actually listing everything in the project and all your, your views in the project. So I'll just go run. And now it just, it's the exact same as if I was inside of Dynamo, except it's less intimidating. If you gave it to somebody else, it just looks nice and clean, professional, I think if that's the word. And there we go, the run's completed. You can see all the sheets have been made. Exactly the same. They've been filled out with all their parameters and just to make sure, I went and actually made this sheet with these little things just to check it out. So that other parameter that I made, that's purely for browser organization. So if I go into 
Okay, stack over here, edit, and I check out my grouping. It's just by that shape parameter. The reason I do that is just to keep it nice and tidy. So there you can, you can see all of my sheets are grouped. And that is pretty much that. Uh, there will be a link in the description on where you can download this Dynamo file if you want to use it. And hopefully it's, you do find it useful. And if you do, once again, please give this video a like or a share or and subscribe because I will only be making videos for the time being based around automating functions inside a river that are very repetitive. And that's really where you get to save time inside of the inside of rivets. There's all those repetitive t tasks that just take a click, click, non-stop. Those can be automated and just save you masses of time. Anyway, thank you. Goodbye.